Hey there wrestling fans, how's it going? It's your host here, Team Rai and we are going to do a very special podcast edition. So, go ahead, my friend, and do yourself and plug your social media. Alright, um, this is Tony here. Uh, um, it's been a while. Uh, so yeah, uh, my YouTube is uh, TR- TRT Reactions and Reviews. I, I recently changed my name. Uh, from the wrestling talent for that, I thought it was time for a change. So yeah, um, my Twitter is uh, double T. I believe it's underscore twenty three, something like that. I'm pretty sure you'll put it um, in the description box. Yes, I uh, would. I changed, I changed my Twitter too because I wanted something different. Okay, and cool. um, I think that's uh, I think that's it. Um, so yeah. Um, Thank you for having me, Rabbi. Anytime. Now, you told me about this news. Hey, you got to be kidding me. What we're talking about is Corey Rhodes um, asked for his release. Now, I love Corey Rhodes, you know. He has so many gimmicks. It's unreal. Never become the World of Champion. Never was the main guy. Um, the only highlight in my eyes was WrestleMania 27, the great build-up against him and Ray Mysterio. Uh, did you like that build-up, uh, Tony? Um, I thought the build-up was done really well um, and stuff. Uh, you know, I like how, you know, Ray Mysterio supposedly injured his face, which he really didn't, you know, when he gave him the 609 and stuff, and he, Cody Rhodes brought all the nuts and stuff, and uh, he started wearing the mask yes. for protection. Yeah. It's like it's it's like a um mankind kind of new spinoff, huh? Something like that. Um, you know, but they had a good feud. Uh, good thing for Cody, he won the Mania match. I thought the Mania match was really good. I loved it. Uh, and then they had a rematch Extreme Rules, which of course ran to zero one, and I think that was the end of the feud. Yes. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, from there, from that point on. Cody Rhodes, I think, eventually went for the IC title, which he ended up winning. Yes. I think he beat, like, Ezekiel. Um, if anybody remembers him, probably not. Uh, yeah, he beat Ezekiel, and then um, he, he had Ted DiBiase with his side, because remember, he'd come out with a paper bag to hand him out to the crowd. Oh, that was that was awesome. I love that. And then um, Ted DiBiase was by his side, and then Ted DiBiase eventually turned out and turned face. Yeah. And they had a little feud, but it wasn't that good. Nope, um, nope. And then uh, Cody held the belt, he had a, and then he had a really good feud with Booker T, if you remember that. Um, I like that feud with Booker T. Um, yeah, it was okay, but I just wish just um, like a 180 that we give um, Booker the IC belt. I know he's retired, but give him a one more um, um, win, you know? Yeah, it wouldn't, it, wouldn't have hurt, it wouldn't have hurt him. Maybe have him just keep it for like one month or something. Yeah, simple, but, yeah people will be um, pissed if Booker T did win. Yeah, and then um, I, I know he had a little feud in, in there too. With um, if they kind of brought back, brought up the his, brought up the past. They had him and Randy Orton had a little feud, which was actually remember they had they had a match of vengeance. I think it was. They did. Remember, they had a match of vengeance, uh, 2011, and then um, and then remember on SmackDown they had like a no DQ match. Remember uh, Randy Orton busted his face. And okay. His mask. Yes. That was awesome. And then he stopped wearing the mask from that. And remember the time that um, uh, Cody Rhodes brought back the old school IC Bell and SmackDown? That was an awesome moment for for Cody. That was awesome. And then, um, and then, um, I think from there, um, I think from there, he got into a feud with the Big Show. Oh my gosh, yeah. don't remind me, right? <laughs> that was horrible. They had a match at Mania 28. Big Show got his Mania moment and beat the, beat Cody, beat the young talent, beat him for the IC title. And then he dropped it two weeks later at Extreme Rules. I was shaking my um, head, you know. And then, um, after he finished the feud with the Big Show, he got into a feud with Christian for the IC title, which Christian won. That was a pretty good feud. Like, they were playing Pop Potato with the damn belt. Yeah. Um, and then Cody eventually from there turned face because, was it Tony? I'm trying to remember. That was 2012 or was it 2013? Which one was that? Because Dolph Ziggler won the. 2012 Money in the Bank, right? Yes. Okay, Cody, I think Cody was in that ladder match. I don't remember. I don't remember anyway, but, um... But anyways, my point is, is Cody eventually went on, he became face, because remember, well, actually, he remember him and Damien became the Rhodes Scholars. Yeah, I, I love that tag team. It was awesome. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't win belts. So, nope. Because they, they tried to uh, take the belts from uh, Team Hell Now, but that wasn't successful. And then... The 
team ended up imploding because Damian won money to bank. He pushed Cody up the ladder and turned on him. Oh, and yeah. About it. And then they had a feud, uh, which led into uh, SummerSlam, you know, and it was when Cody had the mustache, which was kind of a dumb thing. But, um, and it was a stupid t-shirt, too. Oh, yeah. And they made money off of it, though. Yeah, so. dumb. And I thought, we thought, we both thought that uh, WWE's going to put that money in the bank briefcase in line for SummerSlam, but nope. It should, it should be. And then what happened? Damien went from no, Damien went nowhere. He cashed it in on John Cena, and of course John Cena won. And, and the rest, and the, and the rest is history for Damien. He's out of W right and now. Then, and then Cody, him and his brother, they they fought reunited. And um, remember Cody? They had a storyline with the Rhodes family where Cody and Goldust got fired. Or yes. Cody got fired. Yes. And then they brought him. And then they. The road beat the shield at the pay per view over the battleground, I think. That yeah, that, that was a good moment for, for the um, Rose family. And then the, they, they won against the shield, they got their jobs back, and they celebrated, and then they won the tag titles against the shield on Raw. That was awesome. Yes. Um, and then they had the belts for a couple months until they lost in the New Age Outlaws, I think, at the Rumble. I remember that year, 2014 Rumble. Something yes. Like that. Yep. Then Corey Rose uh, turned heel, right? I believe Cody. Oh, no, remember Cody and Goldust were teaming for a while against like right back, right back so Yes. Um, but just stupid. Um, and remember they kept kept losing, and then Cody event like they kept losing, and Cody was blaming it on himself, and then that's where it's, that's where it went downhill. He came up with a gimmick to Stardust. Oh my gosh. Um, F- wait, 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 first. wait, hold on. Uh, when when Stardust first came out, did you like it or no, Tony? When he first debuted, I did. With the- it was cool. Um, you know, I, I liked it. I mean, it was something different. It was kind of like, it was like his brother, but just a different name and like a different look. Yeah. I liked it. Um, and stuff, it was cool first. You know, they were they they were pretty successful. And then they ended up turning heel later that year. Yes. And I remember they won the, they won the belts, but they only had the belts for like a month. Um, they and, lost it to the Gusos. Yeah. Didn't they post they have like a WrestleMania match? Because it did yeah, not really work. they scrapped it because one of them got, I think both of us got into of course. Um, yeah, and then they threw Cody in the, they threw, I should say, Stardust in the ladder match at WrestleMania. Yeah, that was they good. Got in this year. Um, I remember him and his brother actually had a match. It wasn't a Mania. They had a match at Fastlane. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then because one guy wore um, leather and one didn't because it would be kind of weird. Both guys wore leather, you know? Yeah, Cody um, didn't have a, he didn't, he didn't have the top on. He just had the pants on. Yeah. That was pointless for him. Which he lost. Yeah. I don't think celebrity should ever win. But, nope. Um, and then that was pretty much it. And, and then d- d- didn't he have like his, he had didn't he have his own section on Raw? His own section. Oh my God! With the cosmic wasteland with Ascension. Yeah. What, what did that go? Yeah. In, what did that go anywhere for him? No, well, nowhere. Were, he was well. He was gonna have a few with Cesaro because he was mocking Cesaro, but Cesaro got injured around that time. Oh okay. It probably wouldn't have been that good anyway. No. Um, and then um, this year, I mean, you know, he, uh, what's it called? This year, he um, he was in the ladder match again at Mania for the IC title. You know, he was uh, he was kind of, uh, you know, he was, what's the word, uh, showing, paying respects to his dad because he had, like, the polka dot uh, tire on and he had the polka dot ladder. Yes. I bet you if some people, if, if they put that ladder on W Shop, some people would have bought it. That oh yeah. Fun. Oh yeah, big collectors. Oh yeah. I, I know. Um, I know Cody did like an auction, not an auction. He did like a uh, a charity or something. He was just, like, giving away or doing charity to uh, like I guess like a, a, a contest or something for his uh, his attire that he wore that night, which is cool. I think oh really? For, like special cause, yeah. For charity, oh wow. Making money off of it. And he also made some shirts for the cool so, charity for like. So let's yeah. fast, let's fast forward. Like yesterday, sometime it was breaking news that uh, Cody Rhodes said on his Twitter that 
He wants to be released. So tell the viewers your thoughts on the matter about Cody. Well, I think he tweeted on one on his personal account, not to start this one, but his other account um, that he has private. That uh, you know, he said um, he's been there for like ten years and he's paid his dues and stuff. And, but he thinks it's just time and all this. And he thank, he's thanking everybody and uh, he'll release his statement at a later date. And then that was pretty much that. And everybody, I, I, it was just, it was kind of shocking because. You know, we had so many releases the past couple of weeks already as it is. And then, you know, I don't know, it was just shocking because I didn't, ex I really didn't expect it. But at the same time, to be honest with you, I know he, he was doing this whole starter gimmick for his dad and stuff, you know, because that, I remember he made like a tweet uh, talking about it and it was kind of in tribute to his dad. But at the same time, I heard so many rumors over the last couple of months that that they were eventually going to drop this gimmick and give have him go back to it, and they never did. So I'm thinking, you know, he's just getting tired of wrestling. He's going to be, he's been there for 10 years, which is a long time. You know? yeah, oh, yeah. And he has paid his dues. It's just sad that um, he never got the big one. He was IC champion, tag team, and that was that. So, um, you know, uh, it's sad, you know, but like I say, I look at it this way. You know, it's WWE's loss. It's not Cody Rhodes' loss. It's WWE's loss. Because really, what else does Cody have to say to him? Yeah, okay. it's it's sad. I mean, really, WrestleMania was the last big thing he did because after that, the, the past couple of weeks, he was like on superstars and stuff. So, or house shows, or you know, in dark matches, or you know, I mean, it's kind of sad. I mean, to be honest with you, uh, him, Damian, and Barrett, like three of the best talents in the last couple of years and they went nowhere. None of them won the world title. Just, they, they had so much potential and they dropped the ball of all of them. Um, it's, I mean, it, I'm surprised Cena didn't bury Cody. Cena buried the other two. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, honestly, I, I wish uh, it had been cool if they uh, gave Stardust the world championship, don't you think? Oh yeah, or Cody or whatever. Um, any of these gimmicks, did you really like a Cody Rhodes? Um, Stardust was probably my well, one of my least favorites just because it was almost like a... Eh, it was kind of like they copied his, dad, his brother's gimmick in a way. I mean, yeah, like a rip, like, it's like a rip-off, right? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't my favorite gimmick. It, it was okay. Um, to me, my, my favorite one was either with a mask on yeah. or... Um, uh, Dashing was pretty cool. Dashing Cody Rhodes, even though that didn't get thrown anywhere. But, nope. um, uh, I like dashing Cody Rhodes and I like the mask gimmick. Uh, yeah, I love the mask gimmick. I think mask gimmick and, uh, you know, um, not the guy with the mustache, just, um. And I like this, his, I like his, uh, you know, the storyline with him and his brother and stuff, too, when they were champs. That was cool. Yeah, and I'd say that the legacy never went anywhere, but, you know, I thought the rest of 26 that won. They, they won belts. Yeah, they won belts, but they never went over in that WrestleMania 26 match to, against Orton, you know? Well, yeah, neither of them won. Orton won. Nope. And I think that... Oh. I know those two guys, uh, Ted DiBiase and Cody, you know who came out bigger? Cody. Yep, because Ted DiBiase never won any belt besides Tyson. And then he got released. Yeah, he was just... Oh. He was a... Um, he was just like his dad. Yep. And it's sad, too. It is, because he had so much potential, but, um, you know, um, I, then again, I, I was saying it'd be cool if Stardust was champion, I mean, then again, though, I mean, I couldn't see him as world champion, no, I just couldn't. No, maybe uh, like a, uh, IC belt or US or tag team, but not the main guy, just, not with that gimmick. That's like, uh, you know, well, this is off subject, but that would be like Zack Ryder winning the world title, I could never see him as world champion, I just honestly couldn't take Zack Ryder seriously as world champion, could you? Probably nobody will uh, give uh, Daniel Bryan um, a serious. Well, Daniel Bryan's different though because he was actually he was a big deal, you know, yeah. outside of WWE when he came in. He was a big deal. I, I mean, I honestly could see I've seen him win in championships, but I'm talking about. I mean, could you take Zack Ryder seriously as champion? No, just the minute, just um, like the IC yep. and US and tag team. That's it. Same here. I, that's just the way I could never see him as the main guy. And, um, yeah, but but, you know, but but Zack Ryder, if he wants to be a main guy, he's got to keep pushing, you know? It's it's a little too late for uh, uh, Zack Ryder to get a major push now, you know? If Zack Ryder wants to be the main guy, you know what he has to do, right? He has to go to TNA. <laughs> it's sad, um, but whatever. Sure. But uh, what's next for Cody, do you think? Do you think he's going to go to a different company, or do you think he's going to hang it up 
wrestling for good now. Well, I mean, he's been wrestling for 10 plus years. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else for him to do. He, I mean, he could just go to DNA and win the world title. I mean, a lot of the guys have done that. Um, yeah, what about his know? wife? Do you think the wife is going too? I don't know. I, th I know she supports this decision, but I mean, I really don't know. Um, she might go with him. She might not. I did hear, though, that um, uh, Tuesday, you know, SmackDown tapings. Yes. Gold Dust and Cody, Gold Dust and Stardust were there, and um, they left early because they left the tapings early, so they weren't on them. Oh wow. Um, uh, which was, I, I don't know if that had anything to do with this. Does that mean off the record? Does that mean Gold Dust is gonna leave soon because probably his contract is gonna be expiring soon? I'm thinking so because his brother's leaving. Okay. That means no more gold, gold and truth. That's a dumb gimmick anyway. Yeah, it's just a rip off um, like um um Gold Dust and Booker T did back in the day, you know? At least they won though. That's true. Um but you know, uh I wish Cody all the best. Um, you know, I hope I hope he, maybe him and his uh, wife will have kids, you know, like Danny Bryan and Bree eventually. Yeah, um, probably that's why he's oh he's leaving, he's tired of it. He he's on the road three hundred and sixty five days a year and it's ridiculous. These wrestlers Never give a uh, a, a, a downtime. Never, you know, always on the road, always doing his uh, appearances on TV shows. It's ridiculous. Even movies too. He never made an appearance on any movies. You know that, Cody? Nothing. Yeah, no, I didn't. I know his dad. I know not. I know he. Uh, he's thirty years old. I don't. I think he's just 30, 31 this year. But I know. I know when his, of course, when he lost his dad, that was a big, uh, big loss. On you know, it was a big, uh, kind of, you know, took a lot out of him and stuff. Of course, I mean, it would take a lot out of anybody. You know, he, he was off TV for, what was it, like a month or two? Oh, yeah. And started the feud with Neville. Um, but, you know, um, who knows what's next for him. Maybe he'll just be done with wrestling and just focus on something else. Um, but, I don't know. I'll miss him because, you know, I just, I didn't expect him to, I didn't really expect him to leave. I figured he was going to stick around or something. Well, if he does well, if he doesn't leave, my guess is probably WWE is gonna release him regardless, you know, because he's coming up the clean, more clean house. You think so, or what? I don't know when his contract expires. I think his contract expires in a couple months. I don't know, but because he asked for his release early, his early release, I'm thinking his contract is gonna be coming up soon, anyways. So okay, I don't know, but um, well. You know what, these wrestlers, like the mid Carter guys, they make enough money as it is, so if he's saved wisely from the past, he's good to go, him and his wife. So if they want to have kids, um, that's good for them, you know? Yeah, and, um, you know, uh, um, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know, like, it's just sad that some of these mid Carter guys never get the, the big break. Nope. Um, is out. Is off the record. It seems like W has special people they don't, they like to push big time, like Roman, John Cena, um, Xura, You know. Yeah, I think um, Cody should have won Money in the Bank or something like that. Oh yeah. Should have won the world title, uh, or whatever. Yeah, but if he won the uh, Money in the Bank, that's not really a um a sure thing. He's gonna cash in, uh, or he could just fail like saying, Dam no, Damian I'm did. Saying, I'm wish uh, he should have won Money in the Bank and then cashed in and won the belt. Yeah. No. At least all at least all Ziggler won that Carter. Yeah. So, you know, um that about does that, I guess. I don't know what else really to say. Uh, yeah, it's it's sad. I'm still shocked that he, he wants to get released. But 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 WWE still gotta grant it for him, right? Or is it up to Cody if he wants out, right? Uh WWE's gotta give it home. Okay. I don't know if they will, but they should. They should. <laughs> they can't say no, you you're stuck here for two more years. No, watch. You know. you know what's gonna happen? Um, Cody, don't leave. We're gonna give you a bo big push. We're gonna give you a, your old gimmick. What's gonna happen with that? Do you think Cody will change his mind? I don't. I really don't know if it's based on his, his, his gimmick or his current his current um you know place in the company. I don't know if it has to do with that or he's just getting burned out in general. Oh. Doing wrestling. I don't because know there's that. no way in hell McMahon's gonna say, "Oh, Cody, you're very loyal to the company, and you hear." You never call off, or not call off, but you're always on time, and and you know what? Let's make a deal. Let's uh, give you a, a major push, a different uh, gimmick, 
and all that. And what do you think Cody will say? No thanks, right? <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, I like I said, I don't, I don't know if if this is all because his gimmick or his place in the company, or he's just getting kind of burnt out with wrestling in general. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe because he, he really, maybe when he releases his statement, it'll go in depth, more in depth, and talk about it more. And maybe then I'll get an understanding of what it's about. But yeah. Maybe his new gimmick would he come out like a cowboy hat. He'll be like a dad 2.0. No offense, but yeah, something like that. And he has like a cowbell. Oh God. So, um, it wouldn't surprise me. I know they tried doing that with Bull Dust back in the day, uh, Dustin. Yeah. Um, which was a flop. Um, so you know, I mean, uh, I don't really know. It's, it is what it is, right? Yeah, I think this wraps it up. So this. It's a very special podcast, so uh, Cody Rose, if you're listening, go back to your future, whatever you're going to do. So, Tony, you want to um, plug your channel because we're going to wrap this son of a gun up. I have some, uh, some shout-outs to give, if that's okay. Yeah, go um, for it, man. Okay, well, we're going to give some shout-outs to um, uh, my friend Juan, uh Jason Callen, uh, of course, Team Ryan that hosts it the most. Um, uh, my girl Danny, give a shout out to her. Um, give a shout out to Lucas. I know Lucas is, he's really upset about this. He, he was crying all day yesterday. Uh, he claims he's out of a job. Uh, um, no more Stardust. So, um, who else can I give a shout out to? Um, I give a shout out to Mauro Ranello. Uh, he's, uh, he's an announcer for WWE. He's a great announcer. He's going to be um, announcing the uh, kickoff. Uh, match for the night um, at Extreme Rules, so yeah, he's, uh, he's a pretty damn good announcer. Um, shout out to uh, Byron Saxon, who should get fired. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Michael Cole should get fired too. Shout out to him. Um, let's see who else? Um, bring back Jr. <laughs> bring back Jr. Yes. Hashtag bring back Jr. Give a shout out to John Cena, who is coming back on the May the 30th. Okay, Memorial don't. Day, Super Cena. Don't uh, remind me, Tony. Don't remind me. He's coming back for Russo. Not Russo. Um, and I think, um, I think that, I, I think that is it. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope, I hope one day, Hot Pockets will sponsor you, right, right? Um, and, um, yeah, everyone, Check out the new X Men movie that comes out this Friday, X Men X Men Apocalypse. It's gonna be a great one, and uh, I already got my tickets. Not really, but um, yeah. So um, everyone have a good day, good night, and also give also I want to uh, give a birthday shout out to uh, Brandon One Legged Vlog. Uh, today is his birthday, so uh, yeah, he's turning 23 years old. So I'm not sure when this will be up, but whenever it is up, uh, happy birthday, dude. So if you're watching this and uh, one last shout out to uh, Big Money for Eternity, aka Mike. So that about wraps it up. So um, yeah, uh, I'm getting informed right now. Lucas is currently watching some porn. So damn. Uh, yeah. so okay, everyone, one. have a good one. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tony, to come on board. This is a very, very rare appearance, like the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. Like the I'm Undertaker. Like the Undertaker thing. Yep. The only thing for sure about me is nothing is for sure. So yeah. Thank you. Okay, have a good one, and we'll see you guys on the flip side. Actually, I'll see you on the flip side. Enjoy uh, at funerals tonight. Hopefully, it's going to be a good show. W, you better freaking deliver tonight. I'd be pissed off if you don't. Hopefully, someone doesn't die. Yeah, okay. Adios. Have a good, have a good day. Peace out.